Welcome to Church Office Online's Managing Member Types tutorial. This is a new feature with Church Office Online. We're glad to introduce this feature uh, to your church because it will allow your church to customize the member types that are in Church Office Online, both system member types as well as member types that you add later on. To access that, first let's go to your Church Office Online program and go ahead and you'll want to go to the admin section as this also is an admin feature and go to configurations and down below you'll see member types. Once you click member types you'll take into the page. Now if you have not customized your member types before then the page will look exactly like this with the member types custom member types button down below. Before you do, let's go ahead and familiarize ourselves with your member types program. As you know, member types occur throughout the program. It occurs in when you add individuals or when you add households, or when you add um, uh, reports and filters uh, to your program, contributions and so forth. It uh, also qualifies the program in terms of the type of member type it is. Uh, for instance, if it's an archived or first time visitor, these are member types that we actually um, uh, used to help in the count of your uh, towards your account level uh, and of course in our program archived and first-time visitor member settings uh, do not account uh, towards your account level and so uh, this is very important to understand and there's a brief uh, um, description about these two pr um, member types right here uh, so moving on we have 14 different member types including archived and first tip visitor uh, the, the standard member types that you see are attender, dependent, uh, member, missionary, new member, non-attending, non-voting member, pastor, return pastor, staff, and certain voting members. Now when you <coughs> click on the button below, it's going to take you to a page which is going to allow you to customize or delete or change these member types. It also allows you to, if you, do, if you delete some of these, to add back a member type which uh, is more custom to your church's needs. So let's go ahead and try this. Go to Custom Member Types. When you click Open Custom Member Types, it's going to allow you the opportunity again to add new items as well as it is to edit or delete. Also to list one of the member types as a default. And in most programs, the default member type is member or attender for most churches. Let's go ahead and take a look at these member types. One of the things that I usually uh, like to uh, share with you is when, uh, when you're prior to going into this program, if you go into the dashboard, you'll notice uh, that on the dashboard, it's going to list for you the various types of member types that you currently have in your program. This is in the membership overview. It tells us right away we have 75 members, three attenders, pastor, two pastors, uh, first time visitor, archived and uncertain. What I'd like to do is change the term pastor to minister. And then later on, I'm going to show you how to delete some of these that are already listed that have records associated with them. And of course, in our program, you can't delete a member type until uh, the uh, member type has been changed to something else uh, and left vacant. So, um, and notice that of the uh, 12 member types that we have in the system, uh, we currently are only using six, so there's some that, that we can delete right away. Let's go back to, to this and go to admin, again back to member types, and we'll go ahead and look at this. Let's go ahead and delete some of the ones that we know, a simple deletion of them. We know that we haven't uh, selected, for instance, like a, um, a non-voting member in our program. So if you go to delete, you'll notice that um, it's going to flag you, are you sure you want to delete this program, if, uh, this member type? If you do, just click OK. Uh, same thing with, say, for instance, if you want to click uh, non-attending. Uh, we didn't see that on our list, and so it gives us the OK to go ahead and do it. However, if you were, say, to try to delete member, uh, it's going to ask you if you want to do that. You can say OK, but now it's going to throw up an error which is going to tell you that you cannot be deleted because it has records associated uh, with more than one individuals. So just go ahead and notice it's still there. 
However, we can change some of these. Um, uh, we can edit the names of these, uh, whether they have records associated with them or not. Let's go ahead and say, let's uh, edit, um, say, the um, uh, attender uh, to um, just say the friend. Instead of calling them attender, let's just call them for, um, friends. And all you need to do is do that and then say update and then it's changed. Now if you go back in your program, which we'll see a little bit later on, uh, you'll see that that member type has changed. Um, if you want to go to pastor and say edit pastor to change it from pastor to say minister, um, uh, again, you can do that very easy. Um, and then go ahead and update. And um, while we're at it, we can go to member and, uh, and edit member and change that to um, a default as well. But let's go ahead now that we've done that. Uh, you don't need to do anything else there at this point. Uh, we can go now back to the dashboard. And when you go to the dashboard, we'll see some of those changes have taken place already. Notice member, 75, friends, 3, minister, 2, first time visitor, and archive. Now remember, you cannot change these designations. Uh, uh, because your account base is based upon uh, having these as a free free archive records as well as free first time visitor records. Um, but you can add other uh, visitor records to your program. They just won't uh, count as free. Or if you wanted an account, say, is deceased or other types of records other than var archived, then again, they will count towards your records. So uh, anyway, and see uncertain here. Now, if you wanted to uh, delete uncertain, um, you'd have to go into your record to do that. Now to do that is simple, simply by going to church, go to view, edit, individuals. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select both options. So we're gonna check all filters uh, for gender, all filters for age category. And in this one, we're only gonna, only gonna choose that one that we would like to d find out which records are associated with the, the member type is uncertain then we're gonna show individuals. When we do that, we see that it's right here. So what we're gonna do is instead of deleting this record, we're gonna put this record into, say, friends. Notice it now occurs in, in your list here. So we're gonna save that. And now, if we go to the dashboard, we'll see that uncertain is not listed among the dashboard because there are no longer any records associated with it. And that's just that as it is. So let's go back to admin, go to member types, and we're gonna go ahead and we'll see that uncertain is listed there. And now we're gonna go ahead and delete uncertain. And then all we have to do is click OK. And that's simply the way you uh, can uh, edit and, and delete and add custom member types to your church. And so uh, again, we wanna thank you for the opportunity to share with you about uh, the, the new feature, member types. And uh, we ask that if you have any questions regarding um, uh, this uh, feature, uh, we ask that you would, uh, send your question to support at churchofficeonline.com and we'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. Again, thank you.